Do you know the meaning behind this Easter egg? Or what about this one? Well, I found the 23 most secret Easter eggs in the One Piece anime. Like, have you ever noticed a random panda in the background of an episode? Well, he's actually a joke character. The creator of One Piece first invented Panda Man for a competition and then decided to secretly throw him in random manga panels. Panda Man can be seen almost everywhere, and I mean everywhere. Like here in this island in the sky, here in a flashback of a party, even the manga covers aren't safe. The island of women is the only place you can't find Panda Man, but Oda still managed to continue this Easter egg by including a panda woman. Panda Man has become so iconic that you can even play him in the official One Piece video game. But Panda Man isn't the only character who's an Easter egg. There's actually tons of them. Mikio Ito is a wanted gunman who's based off of one of Oda's old friends. You also can't forget about Sam, the drunk dude who randomly shows up in crowds throughout the timeline of One Piece. But my personal favorite has to be the repairman Minatomo, who can't seem to walk past a broken door without fixing it. Now, the joke characters are pretty obvious Easter eggs, but going deeper, did you know that all the admirals are actually walking Easter eggs? You see, every single one is based off a popular Japanese actor. Aokiji is based off of this dude, Kizaru, this dude, and Akainu's face is a straight up copy of this actor. And the real life references don't stop there. I found tons of similarities between Venice, Italy, and this One Piece city. Besides copying Venice's geography, the anime also copies something called Agua Laguna, a storm that happens once a year that floods the lower levels of the city. And actually, there's a bunch of islands in One Piece that are based off the real world. Dressrosa Island is based off of Spain, and even its history is similar to Spain's. I mean, Doflamingo's family name is Don Quixote, the title of Spain's most famous novel. But did you ever notice this special Easter egg? In the background of this scene, there were a bunch of animals that looked almost exactly like the Pokemon Swinub. And later on, when Kid uses his magnet powers to make a giant hand, a metal Pokemon called Meltan was mixed into the scraps. But Pokemon isn't the only manga that One Piece secretly hides, because Oda was somehow able to hide Naruto without any of us noticing. A couple years back, Naruto's manga was nearing its end and Oda was sad, so he decided to create a little easter egg in honor of the manga and put Naruto on the cover of a One Piece chapter. You can see him eating Luffy's meat behind Nami while Luffy eats Naruto's favorite meal, ramen. And if that's not proof enough, the signs in the background can be translated to, thank you for your hard work, Naruto. But Naruto's author returned the favor, because in the very last chapter of the manga, Boruto vandalizes the faces on Hokage Mountain by painting the straw hat logo on this guy's forehead. It's crazy how much respect Oda and Kishimoto have for each other, especially when you look at how Naruto and One Piece fans interact. Okay, now we know Oda is an amazing writer and artist, but Luffy might have him beat. You see, Luffy's drawings actually predict the future. When the crew was talking about how they needed a shipbuilder, Luffy drew his ideal edition and sketched out Frankie before they even met him. Another time, he drew what he thought a mermaid looked like, and I found a mermaid that looked identical to his drawing in this manga panel. Listen, Luffy might be able to predict the future, but Usopp is able to control what happens in the future. I've noticed that many of Usopp's lies end up happening. Remember when he was telling Kaya about a country of dwarves? Well, he found them in Dressrosa. He also talked about fighting a Cerberus and a dragon and ended up fighting both of them later in the show. A super funny one I found was that Usopp claimed Luffy's first bounty of 30 million berries was his. And later on, when Usopp was added to the wanted list, his bounty was 30 million. And the Straw Hat Easter eggs don't stop there because Zoro's attempt to insult Sanji is just another Easter egg. See, when Sanji went undercover as a Mr. Prince in Alabasta, Zoro mockingly called him a prince. And this doesn't seem like a big deal, but Sanji replied by briefly mentioning he was from North Blue, which most people just brushed off. But we later learned that he's literally a prince from North Blue. Years before this was revealed, people were already theorizing that he was a prince because his wanted poster didn't say wanted, dead, or alive. It just said wanted alive. And this is cool, but I found a curious Easter egg when I was playing as Sanji in a video game. See, if you choose Sanji as your character and your opponent is a woman, the game physically won't let you hurt women. Instead, hearts pop up and the woman's HP doesn't drop. He is such a simp. But I still felt sad when I didn't see him during the Dressrosa arc. See, Sanji along with Nami, Chopper, and Brooke left the crew during this arc and we didn't see them for this whole storyline. At least that's what I thought. Because when I deep dived the episodes, I actually found them, but as toys. If you look closely at this army of toys, you can see four characters that look just like the absent straw hats. And of course you know Oda had to sneak in a Panda Man toy. But for the next Easter egg I found, let's move from One Piece and jump into Dragon Ball. This is Krillin, and in episode 17 of Dragon Ball Super, he gets a call and one of the coolest Easter eggs on this list is revealed. If you listen carefully to the ringtone, you can hear the original theme song of One Piece playing. What's even crazier is why they chose Krillin's phone for the Easter egg, because Krillin and Luffy share one thing in common, the same voice actor. But let's bring things to the next level and talk about even crazier Easter eggs. And there's nowhere better to start than with the secret name of Law's ship. If you look at the submarine, you'll notice that there's no name on it. A One Piece fan noticed this a while back and asked Oda what the name of the ship was during a Q&A. Oda answered with the Polar Tang. The name doesn't mean anything special, but congratulations because 99% of One Piece fans don't know this. Now, something that most fans do 
you know is that Chopper can be dangerous, but the Marines definitely don't agree. His bounty has always been hilariously low, starting off at 50 berries. But after the Dressrosa arc, he got a huge increase and it doubled, going all the way up to 100 berries. And even though it's not very much, Chopper's mom is extremely proud. Look at her wearing a shirt with Chopper's bounty. She's such a supportive mother. And since we're talking about Easter eggs, I have to mention this egg. Just look at it. Every time there's a flashback showing Roger's ship, you could see this giant egg. Knowing Oda, this could be something important, or it could just be a big goofy egg. This makes sense because Oda tends to add stuff to One Piece that he really likes. So when I found out that Oda loves wrestling, I started looking for wrestling inspired Easter eggs. The first one I found was Spandam's Mask, clearly inspired by WWE star Mankind. Mick Foley, who plays the wrestling star, even mentioned the reference on Twitter, questioning whether or not Oda was just plagiarizing his style. And then I found another of Oda's wrestling Easter eggs that was a bit more blatant. The Funk Brothers that fought in the Dressrosa Coliseum are inspired by a real life wrestling tag team also called the Funk Brothers. The only difference is that the real life guys don't have any superpowers, so they aren't as well known. You've probably seen people wearing anime clothing, but Oda decided to one up everyone with a $2,000 lighter. See, in Film Z, Sanji has a golden lighter, but it turns out that Oda collaborated with the French company Dupont to make the lighter in real life. It originally sold for nearly $2,000, and only 888 of them were ever made. Oda must have enjoyed working on a luxury item because soon after, he also created a clothing company inside the One Piece universe. If you've ever seen a chapter cover featuring Luffy and his friends, you've probably noticed that they sometimes wear special clothing. But I found out that a lot of these special clothes actually have the same logo. And that's because Oda introduced a fashion brand called Krimin, which is the logo you can see on everyone's stuff. Creating your own fashion brand for an anime? That's original as heck, but not as original as the creator of One Piece secretly sneaking himself into the show. You can see his full name on the spine of a book in Nami's bookcase. And I thought that was the only Easter egg. But in the boat restaurant called Bada TA, I also found his name on a mirror in the bathroom. Maybe he's one of their most loyal customers. <laughs> and while we're talking about Bada TA, have you guys ever noticed that every time we see the restaurant, it's bigger than the last time? I think the Straw Hats definitely boost the amount of customers they get. Those customers probably come from all over the world, but so do the Straw Hats. Oda revealed that if they were real, Luffy would be Brazilian, Zoro would be Japanese, Nami Swedish, Usopp African, and Sanji French. I bet you didn't know that. But something else you definitely didn't know is the Easter egg behind Ace's tattoo. The word Ace is so easy to spell, there's no way that putting the S there was an accident. My theory is that the S represented Sabo, but Ace crossed it out when Sabo died in an explosion. But don't pity Sabo just yet, because one of the coolest Easter eggs I discovered is about him. See, he first appeared in episode 663, but I have a theory that we've definitely seen him before that. Back when Luffy was going to be executed in Logetown, I saw a figure with a top hat and something like a pipe on his back. It would make a lot of sense for Sabo to be there since Luffy's dad was there too. These are dope Easter eggs, but if you want to go to the next level, check out these One Piece moments that got censored. 